What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an emergency heater. This here could be useful if you're a van lifer to heat up your van or if your power goes out and you need some heat. So what you need today is a large terracotta pot, a smaller one, and I'll show you why, some kind of spacer. I'm going to use one of these diamond bits because it just works well. Some kind of cap. We're going to use a terracotta piece here just to cover the top of the pot. A spacer for the bottom to lift the terracotta pot up. That way we give enough oxygen to the uh, flames. I'm just going to use three little espresso cups here. They're around the house, so why not? For this test, we're going to use six tea light candles to see if we can heat up the space. And I'm also going to show you with a infrared thermometer if this works well or not. We're gonna put the setup right on this ceramic tile and we're gonna try and heat up this little bathroom here. So it's quite small, I turn off the heat in the bathroom. I took the thermostat completely off the wall. No, I'm actually doing renos here, but uh, it works perfect for this video. I don't have the fireplace running or anything else in the house that is changing temperature while we do this test. I'm also gonna have this thermometer here in the room just to see if the space does heat up. First of all, we're gonna place our six candles in the middle here, just like this. That's gonna provide our space for the terracotta to get oxygen on the flame. Then we're gonna go ahead, place the small terracotta pot right on top of our setup here. So for this next step, I have two options. Either I put this diamond bit here, which is closed in the center, to place the other terracotta pot on top, or, I can use this bit right here, which has a hole in the middle. And I'm gonna choose this one, just so we can get that heat coming out of the first terracotta pot to go into the second layer. After this, we can place our large terracotta pot on top to create that outside layer. As you can see, we have a center hole here where the heat can come out. And the final step is to plug the top or to put a cap on it like this so it retains the heat in the system. This is the view from underneath. So we can see the smaller terracotta pot is in the middle and we have that air or that buffer between the two terracotta pots which will act as an insulator to keep the heat and make sure we heat up that terracotta. The way it works is it's gonna radiate the heat from the terracotta pots to heat up the room. So we're gonna jump on to the next step, light the candles and then we're gonna do the test. So we're gonna start the test here and the starting temperature of the terracotta is 19 degrees Celsius. And our setup here, it shows 18.1 degrees Celsius. So for my American friends, that is 64.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Our candles are lit and we're ready to start the test. We're gonna start our time lapse here. And I'm gonna start my chronometer on my wristwatch. So this is the space here. As you can see, it is quite small. It is an eight foot ceiling. I'm gonna keep the lights on and close the door completely. That way all the heat stays in. So we're gonna check back in in about an hour. The room did heat up after an hour. We're gonna keep the candles burning and see how hot the room does actually get. So after an hour, the terracotta is 71 degrees Celsius. So the terracotta is heating up quite well and I do feel the difference when I got into the room. And to the touch, it's actually quite hot so I can't keep my hand on too long or else I'm gonna burn it. So it's actually quite impressive what these candles can do. Two hours later, After two hours, the candles are still burning, which is a good sign. And the temperature of the terracotta is... 
67 degrees, so that makes sense because our candles here are running a little low, it looks like. The room temperature did go up. It does feel actually a little warmer in here, so uh, it is working, which is pretty impressive. And it's definitely still hot to the touch. So we're going to let the candles burn and see how hot the room can get. Three hours. So the candles are still burning. We're going to take the temperature of the terracotta here. 67 degrees so we can see it's stabilized if you look at the red laser the further down I go It's pretty much the same temperature all the way down Which is a good sign And the room temperature is getting warmer it is almost 20 degrees and it does feel pretty warm and cozy in here actually so very cool and this right here in Fahrenheit is 67.3 Fahrenheit. After three hours, we could see that it's actually heating up the room quite well, and it did feel warm and cozy in the bathroom. It's a small space, but it still took 30 to 45 minutes to heat up the terracotta enough to give out that radiant heat. If you found this video interesting, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out quite a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video.